To apply to a city college, you just simply need to go to ccc.edu and under future students, come on down to apply and select that. That'll bring you here to this web page here and you simply click on the apply now button. So once you click that there, what you're gonna do is enter an email. Please make sure that you use a personal email, not a high school email or work email. Go ahead and enter mine here. I next hit send new code and click yes. And what's gonna happen is now they're gonna go ahead and send me a confirmation code to my personal email or whatever email you list. So I just go to my email. Um, and if you don't see anything here within a minute or two, make sure to check your spam box, but simply gonna click on that. There's my confirmation code. I'm gonna go back to my application page. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it into there, confirm my code, and now I'm gonna have access to my application. All right, so I'll be applying as somebody who's gonna be pursuing a two-year associate. Um, I'm gonna plan to start in fall 2021 and I'm gonna select Malcolm X. Um, for you CPS students out there that have maybe taken early college at the city colleges, um, just make sure that you select first time college student. It doesn't matter, right? Even if you haven't taken college courses before, or if you're an early college student through dual enrollment or dual credit, you're gonna still select first time college student right there. And then you're just gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of this information here. I'm gonna go ahead and enter that here as well. You wanna make sure that whatever section has an asterisk on it, that you include information there, okay? So obviously here, I don't need to answer that there, but I do need to enter my address, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and enter an address here. And sorry about that. Enter my state. And the postal zip code right there. Preferred phone number. And then you also need to go ahead and designate what kind of phone that is, right? So if it's a home, you select home. Um, next, you need to enter a birth date. I'll go ahead and enter mine here. Gender right there. Social security. Um, it's not required here, but if you are going to apply for financial aid, if you do plan on applying for financial aid to get assistance for that, it would be very helpful if you include that social security in here, all right? And if you're eligible for obviously the STAR scholarship, this is where you would designate that. So if you have a 3.0 or above and you're a city of Chicago, Chicago high school student, you're gonna go ahead and click that here. All right, I will not have a visa because I am a, a citizen here, birth country, United States, highest level, by the time I enter college, I will have completed my high school diploma. And then under school status, technically this is before graduation and I graduate in a few months. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is and just designate it as attending now, right? Unless I've already graduated, um, at that point, I would go ahead and, and mark it down as graduated, right? But since I'm technically still in high school, I can just go ahead and designate it as attending now. And then you are required to enter your high school here. So you can simply do a search, enter the name of your school, and then select your school. That will take care of that. And last date attended, technically today, if I'm still a high school senior, I would designate that there. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna go ahead and submit my application. Click on the I'm not a robot icon there and then submit okay. 